Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing snippet. We will be covering the backup and install process within Sage 200 Evolution. Now, to make a backup is really a vital part to any organization. It's very important that your backups are made regularly to ensure that should there be need to restore, that you have limited downtime. And today we'll be showing you exactly how to make a backup and also if need be restore your database. So it's quite simple. Log in as the administrator or admin user. And administration is an option called System Tools Database Administration. Now, this option allows you to go and make a backup of your data as well as perform a database restore if required. But before we continue, we need to go check one very important aspect, and that is ensuring that there are no users within, within the application when the backup or restore takes place. To check that option, go to Administration, Agent, Reports, and the option is Agent Sessions. If I open that particular screen, I'm now going to have details of exactly all the agents who are currently logged into the database. So it's simply a case of requesting the agent to exit the database to ensure that no user in the database besides the administrator in order for us to perform a backup or restore a database. Right, once it's been completed, administration, system tools, database administration, and select the backup option. Now notice is that the backup folder defaults to the default location. However, we can go change it if required. So it's a case of going to go browse for the folder where the backup is to be stored. Right, there we go. And I can say OK there. And automatically, I've got my backup file name. Now, by default, the backup file name is going to consist of the database name, as well as the date and timestamp of when the backup was made. So very useful if you've got multiple backup sets, you can simply, by looking at the file name, see exactly when the date or the date or when the backup was made. Right, so I've got my details there. Ensure all users have exited the application and OK. Right, tells me the backup has been successfully made and we're good to go. So if I now revert back to my location, my backup location, you'll see that I've got my backup file there, type being a .bak file, and I've got the database name together with the date timestamp when the backup occurred. Right, similarly, if I need to restore the database, once again, also ensuring that there are no users in the system by going to reports and access or agent permission or agent sessions. And once I've confirmed that, administration, system tools, database administration, and this time select restore and go browse for the location where the backup file is that's going to be restored. So just go find that file, our backup file. There we go. There's my .bak file to be restored. Open, and it's going to restore this particular backup file. Now, I'm going to say OK. Now, very importantly, remember is that if you are going to be storing a database, it means you are going to be overriding that existing company. So very importantly is that if you don't intend to override the database, simply ensure you've got a backup of the database that you could restore into as that database is now going to be overwritten by the backup that you are going to be restoring. Right, okay to that. Tells me that an exit logit is going to be necessary. And I can say continue. Right, the restore has been completed successfully. And I'm then simply going to go back into the database, log back in, and continue processing transactions or reviewing details within my restored database. 
So as you can see, a quick and easy way for you to restore a database, make a backup from within Sage to Evolution. And just wait for this um, database to open. Right, there we go. And we can now continue processing in our restore database. Thank you for watching. It's over and out for me. Goodbye.